Hey guys, I'm Caleb. And I'm Michelle. We want to welcome you to VBS 2020. We are so glad you're joining us this year. And Caleb, I think we're going to start with our main point for today. That's exactly right, Michelle. Today, we are going to be learning how to choose kindness. And that is our main point, choose kindness. Now this week, we're going to be watching a movie called Karate Camp. And so because we're kind of in a dojo right now, I thought it might be cool if we put some motions to our main point. Does that sound cool? I think that's great, but I think we first need to kind of stretch out for these karate moves so we don't pull anything. You're right, Michelle. We don't want to pull any muscles. So why don't you guys stand up with us at home, just stretch out a little bit, stretch your arms, move around, get the wiggles out. We don't want you to pull any muscles, okay? Get all that out. Good. Got it. Good, awesome. Now, for today's main point, here's what we should do for the motions. We're gonna punch out, just like this. Okay, kinda bring it. your other fist in got for it. choose. And then for kindness, let's put our hands together and then push it out, just like that, okay? So when we put it together, it'll be choose, kindness. All right? Now, you guys stand up with us at home, and on the count of three, say that with us. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Choose, choose kindness. kindness. Great job. Well, this week, we're going to get to do a lot together. We're going to worship together. We're going to study God's Word. And like I said, we've got a really cool movie called Karate Camp that we're going to show you guys. And today, we get to see part one. I can't wait for the movie. And second of all, you can join us at home at second.org, where you can find all the activities to go along with VBS this year, Caleb. That's exactly right. Now, before we get started, we want to pray together. So why don't you bow your head and close your eyes. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for the chance to do VBS at home this year. God, we pray that you will teach us every single day and that we will know more about you by the time we are done. God, we love you so much, and it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get started.
Sam, it's time to wake up. Sam, Sam, I won't say it again. Mom, we agreed no more air horn. You're gonna be late. this time can I get a puppy you know karate camp is non-negotiable after all it's in our blood I've never made you take weekly karate classes but you will give camp a try I hate karate <gasps> I just want to do hip-hop I'm really good at it and you know what I'm not good at karate yes you are and as fun as hip-hop might be, we are a karate family. Listen, I know that the move here has been tough, but this is a great place to meet people, to make new friends. Get kicking, okay, eat your breakfast. You're going to camp. You know where the donut shop is? Oh, never mind. There it is. Uh, are you okay? Need some help? Uh, looks like you had a pretty gnarly crash. I'm fine. Thanks. I learned first aid in Boy Scouts. I said I'm fine. Okay. Watch those corners. Sam Rye, R-Y-E, who are you? I'm the assistant sensei. Assistant to the sensei. Birth name is Quinn, but I go by Q. You're late, you know. Sorry, Q. I'm your counselor for the week. I'm a third degree black belt with a 4.5 GPA. I break boards and the wills of stubborn children. This is Praying Mantis's dojo, but might as well be mine. Put this on and make it quick. Don't worry about Q. Her bark is worse than her bite. I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. You too. I'll show you where to change. squirt or you might just get hurt. Jutsu! Skill! Shikata! Method! Do! The way! Welcome back to Karate Camp, my younglings. 
It is good to see you all. And a few new faces. Very good. For those of you new to the class, I am Master Praying Mantis. This is my assistant, Barking Spider. This camp is a mix of martial arts and Christian principles. I am your sensei and your theological ninja. This week, you will be pushed to your limit to find out who you truly are, to dig deep inside, to discover truth. Understood? Yes, it's it. What's your name? Samurai. Middle name? Allison. Sam A. Rye? I shall call you Goat. You remind me of a screaming goat. No, 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 you misunderstand. This is great distinction, great honor. Now, listen carefully, goat. As the tradition goes, as done by my father and his father, at the end of this week, we shall compete against our rival dojo. Hey, kids, wanna learn to fight? Wanna learn to break? You come see me, Master Tiger Sharp. I'm a super sensei at the dojo of all dojos. <laughs> come be strong at Tiger Sharp Dojo. Tiger Shark may look like a fool, but he is not to be trifled with. His teachings are not of sound mind or spirit. Understand? Yes, Sensei! The competition at the end of the week is momentous. The student who excels this week and shows great bravery and heart shall fight for us. It's gonna be Chad. Students! Yes, Sensei! Time to train. All right, pork chops, let's warm up! Okay, we're gonna do a punch. What's wrong with your leg? It's fine. I can work with laziness, but not dishonesty. I fell on the way here, off my bike. I noticed your limp. Did anyone come to your aid? I did, Sensei. Very good, Howling Wolf. That reminds me of a story. It's showtime. The Good Samaritan, Luke chapter 10, verse 30 through 37. This is a true story from the Bible. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then a despised Samaritan came along. At this time in history, the Jews and Samaritans did not like each other. No one would have expected a Samaritan to help a Jewish man because they were enemies. But listen to what happened in Jesus' story. And when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him, going over to him the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. The priest and temple worker should have helped the injured man, but they did not. Only the Samaritan showed genuine kindness to the wounded man. He did all he could to help someone in need. Choosing kindness means choosing to love people the way God loves them. You can choose kindness with the words you say. You can choose kindness by allowing someone else to have the first turn. You can choose kindness by doing all you can to help someone in need. Choose kindness.
when we choose kindness, nothing can stop us. Deep breath in. And out. Now, I would like for you to take a minute and just think about this story. Howling wolf, eh? Better than screaming goat. Thanks for helping me. Of course, I'm glad you're here. I'm not. I'm really a dancer. I'm missing a competition right now. Well, they say karate is a dance. Nobody says that. Ah, don't worry. I'll show you the ropes. Shh. Okay, little munchkins. It's time for some karate! Incredible first day of VBS 2020. I love the first part of Karate Camp, the movie. You know what? Me too. I loved it so much. I just want to know, who was that janitor standing in the background of the dojo? Yeah, I was wondering that too. But so much happened today. I couldn't believe when Sam crashed her bike and was laying there on the side of the road. So many people came by and no one helped her. No one. But luckily, Chad came by and he lent a kind hand. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. Yeah, that reminded me of actually a Bible story that we actually learned today about the Good Samaritan. You see, in the Bible, we saw the man lying on the side of the road and people were just walking past him every single day until a Samaritan man chose to show kindness and help the man who was in need. Yeah, that's right. It's important that we choose kindness every day. And it kind of reminds me uh, of these dominoes. You know, I love playing with dominoes and I don't really play the game necessarily. I just stack them all up in a circle or whatnot. And when you hit the one over, it like takes them all down and it makes them all fall down. But we have a very special set of dominoes today. As you can see, I have a little one, but we also have a really big one. And when we choose kindness every day in our lives, one act of kindness can set off a huge chain reaction that leads to bigger and better things. So this domino right here is gonna represent an act of kindness that we can do in our lives every day. And let's see what happens when I push this little domino over. Ready? Ready, kids. Ready. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! <laughs> So when we choose kindness daily in our lives, it sets off a huge chain reaction. And even if that kindness is a little act, it can lead to really big things. That's right. We can show kindness by the way that we treat one another, by the words that we say. So no matter where you are or who you're with, we should choose to show kindness to one another. Let's say our main point one more time. All right, all right, here we go. You ready? One, two, three. Choose kindness. Great job, everybody. We hope you had an amazing first day at VBS. If you have any questions about our church or want to find out more information of what we have to offer kids, follow the instructions on your screen and we'll see you tomorrow for day two of VBS 2020. Bye guys. Bye guys.
Oh! <laughs>